Greetings, greetings. It's been a long time. Hey, hey, hey. How is everybody doing on this beautiful, what's today? Wednesday? <laughs> on this beautiful, beautiful Wednesday, I am so super excited about um, sharing this experience with everybody. I know I haven't uh, been alive um, for about two weeks now. <clears throat> and so I actually didn't even have um, social media and I wasn't on my phone for about two weeks. So I'm like super excited about sharing this experience with everybody. So I'm just going to wait for a few people to come on here. I got my Care Bear. I got my Care Bear onesie on. I'm not playing with them out here in these streets with my Care Bear onesie. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, so, man, let me tell you, um, first and foremost, you know, disconnecting from nature, I mean, from reality, to have time to chill in nature is so necessary. It's so necessary to uh, connect with nature, you know, connect, <laughs> y'all laughing at my onesie, <laughs> you know, to uh, connect with nature, to uh you know, connect with yourself. And so, you know, we live in a reality, <clears throat> you know, you hear me say this a lot, but we live in a reality um, where it's very patriarchal. And so we are always doing and doing and going and going and going to work and driving here and doing this. And we're on our cell phones and we're watching Netflix. And there's nothing wrong with doing those things to a certain extent. You know, you have to balance it out and you have to get into nature because nature is you. You are nature. So, you know, <clears throat> I'm going to be sharing my experience. Um, as you all may know, my Earth Day was uh, November 1st, you know, you know, <laughs> uh, my Earth Day was November 1st. And so a birthday gift from myself and my ancestors was to go to the Blue Ridge Mountains. And so I attended a beautiful goddess retreat. Uh, it was the Shine Retreat. Shout out to the Shine family and Mama Shine. Uh, you definitely, ladies, you definitely don't want to miss out on her next retreat. But it was so life transformational because we really did the work. Like, and I know a lot of people are like, what do you mean by doing the work, right? What does that mean? I mean doing the self-work. Because we always talk about the enemy, the enemy, my enemy, my enemy, the enemy, enemy, the inner me, enemy. The enemy is inside of you. You are your worst enemy, right? Because <clears throat> who is with you majority of the times? You. You are with you all day, 24-7. You are with you, right? And so I know this is getting juicy and y'all know I'm about to dive in. So I see y'all giving me the hearts and the likes. Go ahead and share this video because I'm about to get really, really deep. And um, I, want, I, want, I want the community to hear this because this message that I'm about to give is a message, you know, from the ancestors. And so I just want to make sure that, you know, it's getting out there, right? So we did the self-work because self-work is what it's going to take. You work yourself all day and you're the one that criticizes yourself the most. You know, I'm not good enough for this or, um, you know, I can't do this or I can't have that. So everything manifests in the mind first and what you see and how you view yourself. So we literally did the self-work away from stimulation, away from Facebook, away from Instagram, away from the news, away from TV. Like literally getting inside of yourself and speaking to those demons that's inside of yourself. Because see, we like to blame other people outside of ourselves when deep down it's just us. We are at war with ourselves. And so we, I stayed in a real nice cabin. I mean, the cabin had to have like seven or eight uh, bedrooms. Um, we had like two game rooms. Uh, we were right by a river. I think some people see my posts. If you didn't see my posts, you know, um, definitely go back to uh, some of my, go back to my timeline and uh, check it out. But, you know, just being there by that river. And just hearing that that noise and seeing the birds, it was it was amazing. 
It was amazing. And what really was amazing is that I really learned more on what community really is. Because, you know, I'm always speaking about community and coming together because that's the only way we're going to rise out of this, right? But I was able to see a level of community that I don't really get to feel so much on Facebook and social media, right? Because I know we're all over the place, you know, and we commune and we can form communities on social media. But it was something about being in the presence amongst uh, everybody, being in the presence, being in the presence with all of those women and those powerful, powerful women, because we know the the, the earth needs the feminine energy right now. The earth needs the mothers. Women, we are the mothers of the earth. So for us to all come together in nature, that was a powerful thing. Very, very powerful because not only did we heal ourselves, but when I was healing, I healed on behalf of all of you. We purged on the behalf of all of you. Women, we did wound work. Because a lot of women out here have trauma in their womb, right? And when I mean trauma in your womb, I mean, you know, it, whether it be some type of like uh, molestation or some type of rape, we have had trauma in the womb and we have to release that because that stays, um, oh, my bad, you guys. <laughs> uh, hold on. My camera just switched up. Okay. Oh, I'm back. So that kind of stuff stays in your womb and you need to purge and cleanse that out because women, when we create and when we bring things into this reality, we birth it from our womb, right? We give birth from our ideas, our things that manifest from our very own womb. So it's very important to do the womb work. Men, you have wombs too. We all have wombs. And so past traumas, not just traumas that we have been through, but traumas that our parents has been through and their parents and their parents has went through. So we are purging on behalf of not only ourselves, but we are purging on behalf of our ancestors. Okay, we're purging on a beyond of our ancestors. Some of our ancestors was raped. Some of our ancestors were brutally beat. Some of our ancestors were shot and killed on the spot. So that's a lot of trauma that stays in the bloodline, right? It stays in the DNA, right? It's generational curses, right? Generational curses that need to be broken. And it starts with you. And that is what I learned over my retreat. Like it's deeper. We got to go deeper. We got to get into the ancestor work. And ancestor work, what is ancestor work? I'm going to do a whole video on ancestor work. But I do want you to know an ancestor is just basically, you know, um, your grandma, your great great grandma, your grandpa, your aunts, your uncles, those who have walked uh, before you and have paved the way for you. They paved the way for us to be here right now. Think about it. If your grandma didn't meet your granddaddy, boof, your mama and then wouldn't have been, you know, your mama wouldn't have been born or your daddy wouldn't have been born. You see how deep it is and how intertangled it is. So it's very, very important to pay homage. Now, let me tell you. There's a movie called Coco. And so we, on our first night, or second night, we watched all together, we watched the movie Coco. And we didn't just watch the movie Coco, we examined the movie Coco. So if you have not seen the movie Coco on Netflix, I highly recommend you do. Because, see, this is what the Mexican culture, the, the people in Mexico, I wouldn't even say Mexican because it's just a, a made-up name, but... These people still keep in contact with their ancestors. You know, they have a whole, like, four or five days where they pay homage to their ancestors. You know, the ones that walk before them. They light candles for them. You know, it's a very pow Halloween, while people are out there going to parties and dancing and clubbing and drinking their lives away, uh, Halloween is a day for you to connect with your ancestors, the ones that have walked before you, because the veil is thin. You got to think about it, family. This reality that we live in, it's not even physical. It starts metaphysically first. It starts spiritually. Anything that you conjure when you sit down and you want to manifest on something, it starts on the mind. That voice that you hear in your head, it's, it's, it's not here physically. It's outward, right? 
And so with that being said, your ancestors, they want to live out on their lineage, right? They want the lineage to still live out. So you are a portal for them. Whatever help that you need, you can ask the ancestors because they're in the spiritual realm and they can conjure, they can make stuff happen. I mean, think about it. People who believe in Jesus and people who believe in Muhammad and, you know, all these different um, re religions, you know, that we have, you're still praying to somebody dead. So that's ancestor we work. If you believe in Jesus, he's dead. That's an ancestor for you. So that's ancestor work. So we got to take the spookism out of ancestor work and really start to get deep with it because it's the foundation before you do anything, right? Before you want to do anything, you have to strengthen your bloodline because there's a lot of interdimensional curses. So we watched the movie Coco and if this is really resonating with you, I highly recommend that you just take a second and you just share this video or you tag somebody in this video that you know that's going to need this because I'm going to get a little deep. I have about 10 more minutes before I have my meeting. But um, so, you know, and being in that space, like I speak a lot about, you know, uh, I don't really like the word sisterhood per se, because if you think about the word hood, what is a hood? A hood is something that you put over your head to kind of cover yourself. So I, I per se don't like to really say sisterhood, you know, but what I would definitely say is sister union. Sister union is so very important because we have a lot of women out there where, you know, it's jealous or we're talking about each other or this girl that took my man or why she acting like that. Like all of that stuff is irrelevant. We need to really do the work and start healing ourselves for other people in this world, cleansing out our wounds together, you know, like really coming together and doing the work. And so it just really motivate me to really go hard and really start to impact more women around the world. I mean, women worldwide um, is so very important. We need the women right now to stand up. We need uh, the feminine energy. And I, don't get this wrong. Um, it has nothing to do with somebody's better or, you know, somebody's above or it's the hierarchy. This planet is a, a, is a feminine planet. It's a woman planet. And if you look around and you really open up your eyes and, and don't let your ego trigger something that I'm saying and really look at it the whole world is ran off of a patriarchal society because when you think about masculine and feminine it's not about a body because we're both masculine and feminine so take the body away from it this body is just a vessel you know it's just a vehicle it's like being in a Mercedes being in a BMW the engine is what's really pulling the video the vehicle it doesn't matter what the outside model is looking like right we look at the outside model because we're looking at you know the material value of it so anywho um we as a woman must rise above because we are going to bring that nurturing back on this planet we are raping the planet right we are, that's another thing I noticed in the ancestors. See, the ancestors will speak to you in animals, in numbers. But if your mind is so on the phone, and if your mind is so worried about what the basketball game is doing, worried about what Atlanta Housewives is doing, worried about what Beyonce is doing, worried about what Kanye West is doing, worried about what Trump is doing, you're going to miss the message. Right? So we are raping the planet right now. I mean, think about it. I'm not even going to lie. I try my best. But look at this. This is plastic. This is plastic. Do you know where this plastic is going to go afterwards? Does anybody know where this plastic is going to go? I want you to, if you don't know where plastic goes, I want you to Google it. Because you got to really hear the cry that Mother Earth is crying for us. To stop raping her. She gives us everything we need. We don't even have to pay for food. We don't even have to pay for water. We don't even have to pay for air. People in China are, are paying for air. Because they have raped the air quality out there in China. By all those factories. Right? I want y'all to, I want y'all to share this video. I want y'all to share. If y'all are feeling me, I want you to comment 11, 11, 11. If you are feeling me right now, 11, 11, 11, right? So I want you to research where this plastic goes, right? So I try my best when I go out. I'm not saying we're going to change overnight, right? 
But if you could just bring the awareness to when you go out to the store, bring your own bags. Don't ask for ask for uh, paper paper bags instead of plastic bags, right? Recycle your bags. If you can just do that, we slowly can begin to change. We slowly can begin to shift, right? There's a lot of zombies. I mean, look, I'm the wall. I love to watch The Walking Dead. I'm not gonna lie, like that's one of my shows. But The Walking Dead is amongst us right now. Like, if we can't see that the planet is is being destroyed because of, you know, the plastic, I mean, just think about some of the things that we do. I mean, I can write a list, right? So the whole point is we are raping Mother Earth, right? And as the mothers of the Earth, we have to get back and remember who we are. We have to remember how important our wounds are. That's what I learned at the retreat because as one goddess was going through something, we all felt her. We all felt her because we was all connected. Man, like our thoughts was connected. One sister would be thinking something, another sister would be like, I was just thinking that. We were so in sync it was powerful when i tell you supernatural stuff was happening supernatural you talking about people talking about some casting demons you talking about casting demons off of people and you know sister because you was at the uh mother's you was at the something fresh fest my goddess uh you was at the something fresh fest so you know what it means when you casting demons off of people and them demons is going we did the work okay we did the work and that's what kind of work we need to do because we have been told working with natural elements is devil worshiping and it's devil worshiping if you if you love in the trees and 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 playing homage to the trees that's stupid the trees is god everything is god right so we got the we got to wake up ladies and we definitely got to get our finances together Right? We need to get our finances together. We need to get our wounds together and the way we relate. Right? And so, being at that retreat, I'm telling you, it fired me up to really know that we got to come together, ladies. We really have to come together. There were so many breakthroughs. We healed all the way on the behalf of our childhood. Think about that little girl, right? Khalifa, Maria. Think about five-year-old you. Right, Ebony, think about five-year-old you. Think about that little girl, Tamikia. You know, think about that. Think about five-year-old you. And I want you to go back to that place where you were five, maybe seven years old. Let's just say between five and 12 years old. Go back to that because that's still you. You're still that little girl. And I want you to go back there and I want you to take an instance, something that happened to you. And I want you to forgive yourself. I want you to tell that little girl, whatever age that she is, that she's loved, right? That she's worthy, right? That you love her because some of us are walking around with hurt little girl syndrome, right? We still got stuff from our childhood that was traumatic, that we're still holding on to. It's still a trigger. It's still a soft point. So we got to come together as sis stars, seed stars, seed stars, sis stars, sea stars, right? From the galaxies, right? We got to remember our power. So when I tell you that event made me reaffirm my power and it let me see how strong the women around me was and how strong we was together, Wow, it starts with ancestor work, right? And I'm going to do a whole video on ancestor work. I'm not even going to do it in here. I really just want to share my... Let me tell you about the food. We ate raw, right? We had we, were, we purged together. We ate raw. We fast for two days on juice, right? We came together. Some people used to eat meat. They stopped eating meat, and they came to this place where we were just eating raw food together. Right, and we had chefs, right? We had the whole lineup, right? We had raw food chefs. So we had gourmet raw food. I'm not talking about just a little cute salad and some cucumbers and stuff. I'm talking about gourmet. Y'all been seeing me pushing out the meals. If you haven't, go check out my timeline. But we've been having gourmet food, so we've been purging 
emotionally, physically, spiritually. That's doing the work, ladies. That's doing the work together. And then we even went, shout out to the sweet spot. If there's any ladies in Georgia, make sure you come out to the sweet spot in Atlanta, Georgia. You talking about getting a Yoni steam? Nah. This ain't no Yoni steam. This ain't no hip bath. I personally didn't get to get mine yet. I'm going to get it on Friday. So I will share that experience with you uh, ladies then. But I even watched them experiencing just cleansing out the womb. Letting those ancient herbs come in there and pull and detox. Some ladies have cysts, fibroids. Some women have had major, major different sex partners. And that's all they did. And they still got all those different sex partners in their womb. We got to clean that stuff out. We got to purge that. We can't just be giving up our wombs just because we all hot, ready, and, 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 and ready to do something. Okay, you're hot and ready. That don't mean you got to give up your womb with no intentions, right? So I watched the women journey through their, their experience. I couldn't do it at the time, but like I said, I'm going to do a Friday and I will share my experience. But it was powerful. And so that brings me up because I got to get ready to start my meeting. That brings me up to the last part that I want to share with you guys. So on the last day of our journey... We all took a mushroom journey. And I'm not going to get too deep on my mushroom experience because I'm going to make a whole new video for that. But what I will say is that if anybody has not took mushrooms, which are psychedelic mushrooms that grow from the earth, it's not a drug. Uh, I think I made a post about it. And somebody was like, I never had marijuana or I never had... Um, Mushrooms. I never had those drugs. And I'm like, baby, those are not drugs. <laughs> drugs is what you get from the pharmaceutical company. Drugs is the vitamins and stuff that people be getting. Those are drugs. Mushrooms, shrooms, psychedelic mushrooms, that come from the earth. That is a plant that has strong medicine for different people. You get what whatever medicine you need, the mushrooms will give you that uh, medicine. And... I would say it's not nothing recreational. You don't take mushrooms just because you want to kick it, you know, with your friends and chill. Like, when you take mushrooms, you're going to do the work. <laughs> you're going to do the work whether you want to do the work or not. You're going to do the work, baby. And so, that was so powerful. And I learned something, and I'm not going to tell you yet because I'm going to make a whole other video on my shroom experience. But I do want you to know, like, it was life transformational doing it together in a space with um some strong powerful women like wow so um i think i'm gonna stop right here with sharing uh because some things i want to go a little deeper in um and and spread a little bit more love there but i definitely want you to know my next couple of videos is going to be dealing with ancestor work and how to incorporate ancestor work into your finances baby because you know i'm back with the financial talk um it's definitely definitely prevalent you know it's definitely definitely prevalent we're still kicking off with forex you know everything is still coming in alignment but i definitely wanted to like share this with you because the ancestors was like it's time i am here to bridge the reality of spirituality and finances i am that bridge keeper between that two i'm the bridge keeper between masculine and feminine i have no gender i am a binary being right this is just a vessel <laughs> you can't even define me as a sex Right, so I am a non-binary being just here to bridge the two between finances and spirituality because they're the same. So stay tuned for the new updates. I'm so super excited to get back and um, just be sharing my experiences with you guys, doing a level deeper. Ladies, stay tuned. Me and my lovely divine partner, Aaliyah Shanti Gumbo, will be doing some retreats. We'll be doing some events coming together and giving you guys this wound work that we have done. Um, shout outs to Mama Shine. You definitely want to stay tuned for her new retreat that's going to be coming up, you guys, you ladies, you fellas as well. So thank you so very much. 
Uh, thank you so very much. I have so much that I'm going to be sharing uh, for just tuning in, taking the time and energy to just, you know, sit down and vibe with me. I would highly recommend before we go, if you are not following me on Facebook, go to my Facebook page and I want you to hit follow so that you know every time I go live, it's going to pop up in your note news feed because a lot of people don't know I go live. So I definitely want you to follow me and, um, hey, just share this video. You know, if you're watching this, um, live, I just want you to just say, hey, I'm watching this live and I'm, and I'm watching from Brooklyn or New York. Let me know where you're watching it from. Um, if you're watching this on a recorded line, if you're watching this on my YouTube video, you know, cause I'm going to put this on YouTube, you know, go ahead, like, subscribe my channel, stay tuned. There's so much new things that I'm about to bring to you, uh, I just, I love you all, and uh, I thank you again for watching. I'm going to go ahead and get back to business. Gang, gang, baby, gang, gang. See the description of this video for links to Trade Nation University and Trade Nation Global, where you can learn how to become a skilled Forex trader, successfully earning profits and creating generational wealth. Don't forget to share and like this video. Also remember to subscribe to the channel to get notifications on my new videos. Peace, love, and prosperity, family.